Yes, this is Jimmy Walsey speaking. Thank you, Mr. Jimmy. Now, the problem why I'm calling you today is because we believe that your account has been hacked. What do you mean? What's been hacked? Have you got a desktop computer or laptop, sir? Come to think of it, I did purchase a laptop from Amazon this very year. Okay, sir, that might be the problem. There have been many devices bought from Amazon that have been modified to steal your personal data. Oh sweet Jesus, what should I do? Have you made any purchases on your device yet? Not that I know of. Wait, there is one thing I bought online. And what purchase, sir? Farts. Farts? Please don't judge me, but I buy farts from underage Filipino boys. It's nothing sexual, I, j I just enjoy the smell of it. If you think about it, it's like a charity because the money I give them helps fund their education. It's a win-win. So with the information you have given me, I can verify that you have indeed been hacked and you are losing money. Losing money? How much have I lost? So in our system, it shows Jesus. that you are losing £6.99 a day and this has been ongoing for 3 weeks and 5 days which brings your total loss to £181.74 Oh my god, what should I do? Now there is a way to get your money back but it would involve setting up a one-off direct payment to Microsoft in order to cancel the hacker's transactions It will then be credited straight into your Microsoft account which will then be electronically transferred back to your bank so once you have my bank details, you can personally pursue the hackers to get the money back to me. Is that correct? That, that is correct, sir. At Microsoft, it is our job to protect the purchase devices with a lifetime guarantee as we aim to keep all our customers protected from the bad people on the internet. So my details are... Hold on. Go, go get my car. Oh, Jesus. Help. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello? Am I speaking to you, Mr. Wolsey? Yes, this is him. Fantastic. So, Mr. Wolsey, you're speaking to Dylan from Metro Bank, and it seems there has been some suspicious activity on your account. Oh, yes. Don't worry about that. I spoke to uh, Microsoft the other day, and they're helping me with the issue. Uh, Mr. Wolsey. Please, please, call me Jimmy. Jimmy. Are you currently on vacation in India? Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm at home in good old Scotland. However, it's funny you should have mentioned that. As a lovely Indian lady from Microsoft told me that Amazon have been taking, oh Jesus, money out of my bank account on a daily basis. Look, Jimmy, I, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news here but I can clearly see that no money has gone in or out Far under Amazon or Microsoft. In fact, the reason why I'm calling you is because a considerable amount of money has been transferred to a company called Amazon Scam 16A. Look, that's exactly what Microsoft told me on the phone. That bloody Jeffrey Bezos is financially shafting me. You know what? I'm gonna give him a piece of my own mind. Jimmy, have you recently given out your bank details to anyone that may have seemed suspicious or fraudulent? Listen here, Dylan Mulvaney. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna sort this out myself. I'm not even gonna wipe. How did he know I'm trans? Is it that obvious? Hello and welcome to Amazon Support. I am an AI created to help you. What are your pronouns? Mister. And your preferred name? Jimmy Walsley. Timmy Washi. Is that correct? No, G Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mr. Jesus Christ. What a lovely name. What can I help you with today? 
Amazon have scammed me. You need an item scanned? No, no, no. Amazon have recently given me a faulty product. I can see that your most recent purchase was a ladyboy blow-up sex doll. Is that correct? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, yes, I, I did buy one. I'm sorry, but we cannot replace or refund any products that have been inside of the customer due to COVID-19. Is there anything else I can help you with? I want to discuss a recently purchased Google Chromebook. Are you having an issue with the security on your recently purchased Chromebook? Yes, thank God. After looking at your recent purchase, I can verify that your device is fully protected by antivirus software. So how would somebody get my bank details? Your card has either been stolen or you have given your details to a false business which is called a scam. But the only person I gave my bank details to was my group. That Indian bitch. Amazon does not tolerate racial abuse. I have been created by a multiracial and cultural team. This call will now be terminated. Fuck you and goodbye. So, if Indian people can scam me and they can barely speak the English language, just imagine what a proud Scot could do. I'm gonna be rich, boys. <laughs> yeah. Wire the money right now, or else the bitch gets it. Look, I can't meet those demands. Just please, please don't hurt her. Look, if you don't wire that money into my bank account right now, your wife is getting a 75. That's two in the pink and five in the state. What does that even mean? <laughs> Oh shit! That was a close one. Well, you know what they say, night times the charm. Hello. Oh, you sound young. What age are you? I am four. And Can you count to ten? One. And, and two. And three. That's great, you can stop now. Do you want to play a game, wee doll? Okay. It's called Go Into Mummy's Bag. Find the card with lots of numbers on it, then read the numbers to Uncle Jimmy! Is this Dad? Yes, it's Daddy. Now read the fucking numbers! <laughs>